Hello and welcome. Today we hit stuff with sticks. This is willowing. It is sometimes used to get wool and other fibers ready for spinning into yarn. The big book of hand spinning says, and I paraphrase, willowing is to whip, flog, open and break up the fiber. This is done by walloping and whipping the fiber with two long whippy willow rods. Sounds like fun. My first experience with willowing was during the virtual sheep to shawl contest. We had a challenging yearling fleece with about two inch staple length. Sheep are dirty by nature and this fella especially so. It was tremendous fun willowing with friends and the process seemed to take no time at all. Beating the wool with sticks made a wonderful thwack sound. And when the wool was fluffed up, there was all this dirt left behind. The fibre was ready to feed right into the carder. As with any new fibre skill, I'm eager to test it to the limits. I have the perfect fiber to find out what willowing really can do. But first, a couple of words from Greta the Adorable. <coughs> this is Bo, our rescue alpaca. The only thing that gives him more pleasure than eating apples is to roll in the mud. Although his fiber is by far the softest on the farm, it is also dreadful to work with. The dirt is nearly impossible to get out. Willowing is supposed to be good at removing dirt. Let's see how good it really is. Mwahaha! It's a bit breezy, which is the opposite of what I want. Today would be a perfect day for winnowing, where we separate heavy seeds from the lightweight chaff. Wind blows away the chaff and leaves the heavy grain behind. With willowing, however, we want to keep the lightweight fiber and have the heavy dirt fall away. To that end, a still day and willowing over a wire mesh would probably give better results. But we work with what we've got. Watching the fibre fly into the air and gently settle down again was so much fun. It's worth willowing just for that mindful moment. It's like meditation in motion. Bent sticks don't willow well. Trying to keep the sticks from tangling put stress on my wrist and took a lot of the fun out of willowing. Keeping the batch size small made things go faster. For willowing this fiber, batches of about 500 grams were ideal. But don't be afraid to experiment and see how much works for you. Once I got the hang of willowing, it was super quick to open the fiber. So soft and light, better than any other picking method I've tried thus far. I could spin right from the willowed fiber, but for a more consistent yarn, I carded it. However, it did not get all the detritus out of the fiber. It was better than picking by hand, but not able to perform miracles. When I got the fiber inside and started carding, I learned a powerful lesson about willowing. No matter how much fun I have hitting stuff with sticks, nature will always assert herself. A burning on my hands and blisters, then up my arms. Am I becoming allergic to alpaca? 
No. Apparently, if you will a wool or alpaca, do not do it on a nest full of angry, biting ants. Willowing is a fun replacement for the act of picking fiber, especially for large batches. The thwacking sound is satisfying and is a hugely entertaining activity to do with spinning friends. If you try willowing, let me know in the comments. And happy spinning, everyone!